guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be talking about metformin. I got a request to do a video over metformin and I feel like it's a really good way to start off on the medication side because it's such a prevalent medication used today. So let's get started. So metformin is also known as glucophage, that's its brand name, and it is a very popular diabetic medication. If you know, you're not on it, maybe somebody in your family is on it, it is the first line treatment for type two diabetes and it's very cheap so that's why they usually try to go for that first as opposed to other options and it works because our glucose is made and stored in our liver so what metformin does is it decreases the production of the glucose made in our liver it also decreases the absorption of the glucose in our intestines and it'll increase the way that our body responds to our own insulin and helps us use that so like with any medication out there, metformin does have some downsides and some side effects to it. It comes with a warning for lactic acidosis, which is just a buildup of lactic acid in the body. And it's very rare, but people who are taking this medication do need to be aware of this so that they can look for the symptoms. Your main three symptoms that you're going to be looking for is muscle cramps, extreme fatigue, and a headache. And this is because what this lactic acid is doing is it's depriving our cells of oxygen. And these cells are used to metabolize things in our body. Now, the importance of this is because if you drink, then excessive amounts of drinking can also build up lactic acid in the body. So then we have a lot of lactic acid and we're more prone to this lactic acidosis. So there's usually a warning for metformin that you do not drink excessive amounts of alcohol while you're taking it. A more common side effect known with taking metformin is abdominal pain, nausea, and diarrhea. This side effect is usually so bad in the beginning that a lot of patients want to stop taking it. But what they don't know is that this is usually going to stop after about two weeks of taking it. So if they can persist for those two weeks, usually these symptoms will go away completely or decrease a lot. But if they do continue to have these symptoms for more than about a month, I would tell them to contact their doctor because there needs to be something done about it because nobody wants to live like that forever. So what the doctor's probably going to do is they could do like one of three things. They're either going to decrease their dose, they're going to put them on an extended release form of the metformin, which will give them the metformin throughout the day instead of hitting them all at one time. And the third thing is that they may tell them to take it with meals so that they have some food coat in their stomach when they take it so they don't experience these bad side effects. One of the main benefits of metformin that both prescribers and patients both love is that it helps them lose weight. And it does this because it keeps their blood sugar from getting too high, which keeps the body from having to produce a lot of insulin, which keeps the patient feeling fuller for longer, which keeps them from having to eat as much food throughout the day, so this helps them lose weight. It's really important because these patients with type two diabetes are normally overweight. So metformin is a great option for you to use for them. Metformin is safe to be used in pregnancy and breastfeeding. There were studies done on it and there was shown to be no fetal harm in these patients. That was it for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions for me, make sure you drop it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back with you about it. And as always, if there's anything y'all want to see a video over, make sure you drop that down in the comments as well. And I'd love to do it for you. And that was it for this time. I'll see you next time. Bye.